Hi, Rich Hall asking you to go to Pizza Hut and vote for your favorite Pizza Hut pizza. Remember, one lucky voter from every participating Pizza Hut restaurant will win a pizza a week for a year. So come on, you Kalamazoots, you Birminghamsters, vote sausage, vote olive, but vote. One publication salutes heroic Americans who risk their lives to save others. The National Enquirer. This week, a retired 71-year-old Navy man walks through fire to save a child. Yes, America had its best. <laughs> It'll bring out the kid in you. Yeah. Play along with Wheel of Fortune weeknights and Saturday night at 7 on Channel 21, WHP-TV. Toyota, Central Peace, Toyota, Central Toyota AMC Jeep Auto, Central PA's largest Toyota AMC Jeep Auto dealer, offers factory financing as low as 2.9% or factory cash rebates of $500 on just about every Jeep pickup in stock. This is a limited time Washington's birthday extravaganza super sale that ends February 28th. Hartman's biggest inventory of the year at Central PA's number one Toyota AMC Jeep Auto dealer. Jeep pickup with 2.9% factory financing. New owners and a new look plans for Klein Village tonight. We now return to Still Watch, starring Linda Carter. Big odors lurk in small places. Stick it to them, the stick ups. Big odors linger in small places. Stick it to them, the stick ups. Stick ups concentrated air fresheners solve big odor problems in small places. Stick it to them. Wednesday. The man who did this was not trying to kill me. Karen Valentine, Barbara Billingsley, and Jared Martin guest star. Bless you, my son. Mr. Hammer. Then. Magnum, is something troubling you? Magnum's total obsession for a mysterious brunette. Stay away from her. Makes him an open target for the mob. You could be in real danger yourself. And on the conclusion of a special two-part episode. Why didn't you tell me who she really was? The girl is my daughter. I don't know anymore how to be a cold professional. Wednesday. He's suave. He's dashing. He's not dead yet. George Hamilton. You rang. Gary Kroger. I've always wanted to do this. Spies coming soon on CBS. Good evening from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. President Reagan will be questioned for a second time tomorrow by his commission investigating the Iran arms sale. Mr. Reagan turned down a request from the commission today. He says he will not order former aides John Poindexter and Oliver North to answer the commission questions. Three white teenagers were charged with murder in New York City today. They're accused with nine other youths in the December racial attack in which a black man was beaten and allegedly chased onto a highway where he was struck and killed. Liability is Mercedes-Benz. The Democratic Party has chosen Atlanta as the site for its 1988 presidential nominating convention. The Republicans will hold theirs in New Orleans. I'm Bill Curtis, CBS News, Chicago. More news later on this CBS station. This is CBS. Long John's has shrimp lovers talking cages. Ooh-wee! This cage on shrimp tastes like home. Adler, you're from Milwaukee. <laughs> the tang it tastes reminds me when I was living in the Delta. The only Delta you lived in was a fraternity house. Tender shrimps all spicy and crunchy, don't you know? Cut the Cajun, Adler. Okay. It's okay by me if it's okay by you. <laughs> Long John Silver. New Cajun shrimp. Sounds good to me. You're here at your Lincoln Mercury Mayor Core dealer for a truly newsworthy event. The President's Week Sellathon, where you'll find thousands oh, of boy, Lincoln's I just Mercury's got a great deal on a new Cougar. Oh, sir, I'm doing a features story. Features? Oh, where you'll find thousands. great features. Standard V6 engine, air conditioning, electronic sir? AM, FM, stereo. And I saved hundreds when I bought a special option package with automatic overdrive transmission. We're out of time, sir. Oh, no, lady, you got to let me tell you the best feature of all. It's the price. Hey, lady, wait! Whatever happened to in-depth coverage? Be your Lincoln Mercury Mercur dealer. Channel 21, WHP-TV. We now return to Linda Carter in Still Watch. Ke Kelly, please. Don't call me that. You 
This week in the National Enquirer, it's America at its bravest as we read the courageous story of Liberace's last days. It's America at its most principled as Victoria quits Dallas because her male co-stars earn more. It's America at its most mercenary as Joan Collins' ex demands 25 grand a week. It's America at its most persuasive as we tell you how to talk your way into romance. Shut up and kiss me. The National Enquirer, yes, America at its best. Run out and buy the Enquirer now. Luther thinks what you've done so far is terrific. Do you agree? It's good. Thursday night begins with Shell Game. There's always got to be the con. But sometimes a con can get you killed. Oh, boy, this is getting fun. Who is doing what to whom and how? Then on Simon & Simon, a TV star disappears. I said we had a kidnapping on our hands. Or does someone want to tune him out permanently? Definitely Emmy time. And on Nuts Lending. The only way out for you and your family is to assassinate Greg Sumner. A crisis of life and death. I don't have a choice. Thursday. Charges from inside the FBI that the agency had secret links to right-wing death squads in El Salvador. The story tomorrow on the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. This is CBS. Good evening. This is a News 21 news break. I'm Jeff Gingrich. It won't happen soon enough for hundreds of commuters who pass through Harrisburg every day. Tonight at 11, the many red lights and the plan to get them in sync. Derry Township takes a left turn towards safety. And Klein Village has a new owner who have big plans to renovate. Now this. Some people love the cold, but if you're not one of them, fly U.S. Air to sunny Florida or Arizona and save with our low vacation fares. Doug has a local hoop, including the Cougars, taking a swipe at the Trojans. And Jim has a chilling forecast with a question mark for the weekend. News 21 is up at 11. Channel 21, WHP-TV. Senator Winslow, can you tell us what it feels like to be on the cover of today's National Informer? Oh, I was astonished. I must say I'm more used to being mentioned in the Congressional Record than the National Informer. It didn't